Hi students and hope your preparation for JE mains 2024 is happening wonderfully. Uh, I am here to just give you one tip regarding the JE mains examination. You are very familiar that the marking scheme is plus 4 minus 1. Alright, it's not plus 3 minus 1 like it was in AIEEE once upon a time. It's not plus 4 minus 2 like it is often in the MAMCQs in the JE advanced. It is plus 4 minus 1. And this should ring a bell because plus 4 minus 1 is a marking scheme which is an implicit suggestion by the National Testing Agency to all of you students that you must attempt more number of questions. Uh, often it happens that because of the fear of negative marking, you tend to attempt less number of questions. So there are about 75 questions in the JE mains and if you attempt around 30 or 35 or 40 questions, you are severely restricting yourself as to what score you can eventually get. As you are well aware, to get a respectable NIT or a triple IIT, you need to score at least 97.5 percentile, which typically corresponds to around 160 to 170 marks out of 300 in the JE mains 2024. So unless you attempt large number of questions, which means minimum 60 questions out of 75, uh, it's difficult to score uh, above 97.5 percentile. So if you attempt more questions, the chances of scoring more is there. Now, how do you neutralize this fear of negative marking that you have in your mind? Well, if you look at this plus 4 minus 1 marking scheme carefully, whatever questions you have attempted, even if 80% of them go wrong in this kind of marking scheme, you still don't get into a negative zone. For example, out of 10 questions, if you get 2 right and 8 of them are wrong, still you get 0 because 8 into uh, minus 1 is minus 8 and the remaining 2 into 4 is plus 8 again. So it neutralizes that. So only when you are making mistakes in more than 80% of your questions, that's when you get into negative territory, not otherwise. And I'm sure you're not such poor guessers. You're not such poor attempters. You're definitely going to be getting more than these 20% uh, uh, right. And therefore, you'll end up in positive territory. So be adventurous, attempt more number of questions that will eventually translate into better scores in the JE mains examination. Wish you all the best for JE mains 2024.